Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In today's episode, we delve into the captivating story of China's journey to achieve self-sufficiency in commercial aviation with the C919 aircraft, built by COMAC. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy our video, and subscribe for more in-depth insights into the world of aviation. China's C919 is the country's ambitious attempt to break into a market dominated by aviation giants Airbus and Boeing. Started in 2008, the project took 15 long years to come to fruition, with the first commercial flight taking off in May 2023. Developing the C919 was not a cakewalk. This ambitious project faced multiple technical issues, supply hurdles and political obstacles, including sanctions imposed by the Trump administration. But what made it even more challenging was China's resolve to source most of the aircraft components domestically. Despite all these challenges, the first C919 took to the skies on its inaugural passenger flight on May 28, 2023, marking a new era in Chinese aviation. This flight not only demonstrated China's growing prowess in the field but also signaled a potential shakeup in the market that's been dominated by Boeing and Airbus. But this is just the beginning. China is already developing its own jet engine, the AEC CCJ1000A, with the aim of achieving complete self-sufficiency in aviation. The launch of the C919 has put the global aviation industry on notice. China is ready to compete. With more than 1,200 orders from prominent airlines, the C919 represents a compelling proposition for airlines worldwide primarily due to its attractive price point compared to its competitors. China's entry into the commercial aviation market with the C919 is a testament to its determination and capacity for innovation. The question now is whether this new player can disrupt the long-standing duopoly of Boeing and Airbus. We have seen how the maiden commercial flight of the C919 has paved the way for a new chapter in Chinese aviation. The journey was a testament to China's resilience and determination. However, challenges persist. Many of the C919's parts still come from foreign countries, highlighting China's continued reliance on global suppliers. Indeed, China's ultimate goal goes beyond producing a competitive commercial aircraft. It aims to achieve total self-sufficiency, manufacturing every single component domestically, from jet engines to the smallest nuts and bolts. China's lofty ambition doesn't stop there. The country also plans to replace the C919's current CFM Leap 1C engines with its own AEC CCJ1000A turbofan jet engine. This move is set to further strengthen China's position in the global aviation market. And it's not just China that's paying attention. Airbus and Boeing, the current industry giants, are closely watching the rise of the C919. They're aware of the potential market shift that this new contender brings to the table. Will the C919 manage to disrupt the decades-old duopoly held by Airbus and Boeing? The answer to that remains to be seen. But one thing is clear, the C919's entrance into the global aviation market signals the dawn of a new competitive era. Development of the C919 represented a monumental task for China. In order to understand why it took as long as it did, it's essential to look at the project from its inception. Started in 2008, the COMACC-919 project aimed to create an advanced narrow-body aircraft. The partnership between COMAC and Ryanair, formed in 2011, represented a significant boost to the project and demonstrated China's commitment to self-sufficiency. This partnership also signaled the potential of the C919 to competitors such as Airbus, prompting them to recognize COMAC as a potential threat. The development of the C919 was not without its challenges. The project faced numerous technical difficulties and supply issues, delaying its maiden flight from its initial 2014 target. Despite these setbacks, COMAC remained committed to the project, continually improving the design and manufacturing processes of the C919. Utilizing the powerful Tianhe 2 supercomputer, the company was able to perform precise calculations and simulations to optimize the aircraft's aerodynamic performance. International collaboration played a crucial role in the development of the C919. Partnerships with companies such as Bombardier Aerospace helped further strengthen the project, 
providing COMAC with valuable expertise in various areas including supply chain services, cockpit development, and sales and marketing support. However, the development cost of the C919 significantly exceeded the initial estimate, reflecting the extensive research, development, and testing required to bring the aircraft to life. The C919's journey towards its first commercial flight was marked by numerous delays and challenges. In May 2018, COMAC revealed that the original composite wing designed in 2012 had been replaced with a metallic version. This change required extensive testing to ensure the wing's structural integrity and strength. Despite these difficulties, the first production airframe of the C919 was finally delivered to China Eastern Airlines in December 2022, following extensive testing and certification processes. During the 15-year development period, the project faced several intentional obstacles. The most significant of these was the restrictions imposed by the Trump administration in 2020. The administration blacklisted COMAC, making it challenging for the company to acquire crucial components such as flight controls and jet engines. This was a significant setback for COMAC, as approximately 60% of the required parts were sourced from American suppliers. This political hurdle significantly extended the development time for the C919. The C919 is more than just an aircraft. It symbolizes China's journey towards self-sufficiency and its growing influence on the global stage. This ambitious project showcases China's technological prowess and its commitment to making a mark in the global aviation industry. So, what do you think about China's leap in commercial aviation with the C919? Do you think it will manage to give Boeing and Airbus a run for their money? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video if you found it informative. And of course, subscribe to our channel for more videos on global innovations and developments. That's it for today's video. If you found our deep dive into the story of the C919 interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Until next time, stay curious and keep flying high.